Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at writing a SQL statement that will compute the interest on a certificate of deposit. Interest rates are rising. This would probably be a good SQL statement to know. This SQL statement is in my GitHub account. Create function. The name of our function will be fn calculate uh, cd interest. And then we're going to have uh, four input parameters. And remember, all our parameters begin with the at symbol. So we're going to say the amount of the deposit. And that's going to be a, a decimal a 10, 2. It's a pretty big number. And then uh, we got a start and end date. So start date. And we're just going to use date. We don't need time. And then end date. And that will also be a date. And then we just need to know the interest rate. So interest rate. Sometimes I just use IR, but uh, might want to change that. Decimal uh, 10 comma 4. Pretty much on this one right here, we want to, if it's like uh, 4%, we want the user to type in um, 0 0.04. Now, whenever we're doing a function that returns a table, we need to say returns. And make sure you uh, Put the S. I know I say this in all my videos, but this is like the number one error. And then we're going to say at table. At table is the name of our object. And then uh, table, that's our data type. And this is what I'll be returning to the user after they execute this function. So then we're going to say the amount deposit. And that is going to be a decimal 10 comma 2, just like we did in the input parameters. And then term is going to be an int. And then the rate is a decimal 10 comma 4 and then the uh, start date and end date i'm just going to harvest this right here take these off and then we have the uh, daily interest rate and that is going to be a decimal uh, 14 2 it's probably too much uh, but we'll just say 10 2 and then uh we're going to have three of these so not only do we the daily we're going to do the annual and then we're going to do the total now what's the difference between annual and total well as quite possible that you have a CD for like 14 months, which is uh, one year and two months. So the annual would be one year and then total would be for all 14 months. Now what I normally do after I give the input parameters and the return value, and then we say as, I normally put some code or comments in this section to let a user know how to use what I've just written. And it kind of like tells me when I did it, why did I do it? And most importantly, how do I execute this when I'm done? That's kind of like a nice little thing to have. Okay, cool. So and then we say begin. And for every begin, we have an end. Okay, so now we're going to come up there and we're going to put a CT in there. We're going to say with CTE duration as, as is optional. Then we're going to do open parentheses. And then we're going to say select the date diff, and I want the month difference here from the start date to the end date, and I'm gonna call that as the term. So this function's very popular. You should make sure you put that in the bank. So there's our CTE. Now remember, a CTE can only be used in one statement below that, so we're gonna be using it right away. So what we're gonna say is insert into at table. Now remember, at table is the name of our object here on line eight. So then we're going to say insert into there and then I'm going to say select and because I'm going to give all the columns in this order I don't need to give the name of the columns here. So we're going to start with the uh, the amount of the deposit and then we're going to say CTE duration dot term. You see how I'm using the name of the CTE and term here and then we're going to say the add interest rate then the start date the end date and now is when it gets fun. So the first thing I would like to do is compute the daily interest. So what we say is the uh, the amount of the deposit, and we're going to times that by the, the interest rate divided by 365. And we're going to call that the um, daily interest. Now, you're probably already seeing one error with this. Um, every four years is a leap year. So we should probably modify this maybe in another video on how to make this a variable so we know when it's a leap year or not. Now the second um, amount that we want is the annual interest. So we're gonna say the amount deposit and we're gonna times that by 
the interest rate. Now watch this right here. Uh, divided by 12 and then times by 12 as the annual interest. Now why do we do that? Well, we take your annual interest and pretty much the this is the annual interest. So 4% is what we make at the year. So what we're doing is we're just taking that, dividing it by 12, the number of periods in a year, and then times it by 12. It kind of goes back to this number, whatever they sent in. And the last one that we want to look at is the total interest. So here we're going to be looking at that full term, the number of months from the start to the end. And what we can do is we can harvest a bunch of this code here. So it's going to be the amount of deposit times the amount of interest per month. Then instead of doing 12 months, we want to know how many terms. And you remember when we use that CTE above? So CTE duration dot term. And we're going to call that the total interest. We can take that off. And then we're going to say from CTE duration. Now when we put things up into our table here, see how it says returns at table? What we have to do down here to even make this work is say return in the semicolon. Now let me highlight this and see if we have some blue star programming here. Um, execute and it worked. Let us execute this function now. Function calculate CD interest. I'm going to put a hundred thousand dollars and it's going to go from January the 1st of the year 2023 until March the 1st of 24. And I'm going to pay 4.25%. Uh, Let's see the kind of money we can make. Okay, so daily we're going to make $11.64. Annual we're going to make uh, $4,249. And then the total interest is almost $5,000 for 14 months. Now, if you can remember when it was paying less than 1%, um, you can see how far we've come. So remember that $4,900. Uh, when it was this low, we were making $583, $1.37 a day. And there you have it, team, a SQL statement to compute the interest on your CD. Now, we did it for the daily, the annual, and the term of the CD. It's pretty sweet. If you've got any questions or comments about this video, please leave them below. And that's all I have. I'll see you back in my next video. Take care.